The wrist is a complicated joint and the forces across it are very large and it is quite common for the ligaments that connect particularly what's called the proximal carpal row which consists of the bones called the scaphoid, the lunate and the triquetrum to become disrupted as a, use of, as a result of overuse or on occasions trauma. The commonest area of damage is to what's called the scaphoid-lunate ligament which as the name suggests connects the scaphoid and lunate together. This is the most important stabilizing ligament of the wrist and when this is damaged the wrist becomes very symptomatic in terms of pain limitation of function and giving way, i.e. it's unable to cope with lifting and carrying. It's quite more common also to get a click or clunking with inside the wrist when it's loaded. Of course, the treatment for scaphoid ligament reconstruction starts with conservative treatment, such as splintage in the early stages, occasionally initial direct repair, although this is difficult, physiotherapy, and arthroscopic debridement. However, for patients who remain symptomatic with instability of the wrist, it is quite common to perform a scaphoid ligament reconstruction. This is also known as a Brunelli operation after the surgeon from Italy who described it. The way in which this operation is done is that a cut is made on the back of the wrist and the scaphoid is pulled back into position and pinned into place. I commonly use what's called a bioabsorbable pin, which means, means that there is no long-standing metalwork or other processes inside the wrist, and the implant biodegrades, i.e. the body will remove it once it's done its job at around the eight-week mark. And this is a benefit to the patient, as it means that no metalwork has to be removed. Once the scaphoid is pinned back into place, half of one of the large tendons on the other side of the wrist, which is called flexor carpi radialis, or FCR, is harvested through two small incisions, and a hole is drilled through the scaphoid so that the tendon can be passed from the palmar or undersurface of the wrist onto the back, and this ligament then does the job of the scaphoid ligament. This is a very successful operation, afterwards the patient is put into plaster for a period of approximately four weeks, it takes another month or two to get full recovery. There is some inevitable stiffness and restriction of movement, and I normally tell patients that they will in the end gain around 75% of normal wrist movement. However, this is a perfectly functional movement and allows patients to get on with their life without the pain and the instability which results from the ligament disruption. On occasions, the other ligament of the wrist, the lunotriquitra ligament, is also damaged and it is perfectly possible to reconstruct this at the same time whilst doing escaping the ligament reconstruction in what's known as an extended Brunelli operation, i.e. the ligament that uh, is required to be fixed can be fixed as part of the same operation by extending the use of the graft across to the linotracritical ligament. The treatment afterwards and the results are exactly the same as with the scaphoid ligament. Thank you.